Well, I'm one of the ones that really doesn't know what took place. And um, it's obvious to this committee that either Senator Sutton or Austin Weiss committed perjury. One of them was lying. I don't know which one. But I think you lawyers on the committee know that most of the testimony that was presented in the last three days wouldn't be allowed in the court of law. It was a he said, he said. Everything else was hearsay. And the credibility of some of the witnesses, I, I, uh, I have some doubt. To have a 70 year old vision of being molested seven years ago and just figuring it out. There's some other troubling things that come to mind. I know if one of my kids was ever reported to me that they were assaulted or molested or uh, uh, sexually abused, I certainly wouldn't allow them to, uh, two days later, go have a picture taken in the Senate gallery with the, the perpetrator. And more importantly, I wouldn't go to dinner with them a few days later and sit with my son and the perpetrator and have a dinner. And that makes no sense to me, and I don't know of anybody in this room or anybody else that would do that. Now, Senator Sutton admitted that he crawled in bed with this page. And he's kind of like an employer, an employee. And that was improper, and he should be taking the task for that. Whether he did what he's accused of doing, God only knows. I, I mean, I, I wasn't convinced out of this, uh, this testimony. I even question the alleged victim. In that transcript, he alluded to me, uh, talking to me on a Friday night uh, down at the Long Branch. I don't go to the Long Branch, but I, I checked the records with LRC, and I wasn't in, in the pier on that Friday night, February 10th. Uh, the record show us in Sioux Falls. And I guess the other question is, um, what's an 18-year-old doing in the Long Branch? So I'm, uh, that gives me doubt on his credibility. There are too many issues that are foggy and cloudy, and uh, I can't make heads or tails of it, so therefore I too will go for censure.